take no loss. I don't even know what it costs. I hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, yeah, run it, run it. Oh, I really feel a smile. All right, Lauren Hartledge here after a great first round three under. You made your turn at uh, one over, but then really turned it on on your front nine birdies for your last five holes. Uh, what kind of change there for you? Where'd that momentum come from? Yeah, and um, the beginning of the round, I wasn't hitting the ball very well, but I was putting really well, um, made a lot of really good putts and kind of on the back nine, it got windier and I wasn't, I was thinking too much about my swing, I think on the front and I kind of just, you know, started to get away from that mindset, and just hitting some shots and was starting to hit it better and just made a bunch of really good putts. Those uh, birdies you had there, again, you're, you're the, the front nine, your back nine on five, six, seven, and nine. Uh, could you tell us about those holes? Any big putts there, or was it just kind of everything coming together? Yeah, I mean, five, par five, I hit it up there pretty close to the green and two and chipped it to like a foot, so that was pretty good. And then the hole after that, you know, hit it to about three feet, so made a good putt there, but then um, seven, I made like a 40 footer for birdie. So that one was a really big putt there and then just hit it really close on the last hole. So it's really good to hit some good shots coming in and make those putts. When you're standing over a 40 foot birdie putt, are you thinking I can make this? Are you thinking I lag it? What are you thinking over that? Well, I mean, I've been putting so well today. And so I just felt good. Honestly, if I get the speed right, I felt like my lines were really good. So I was just kind of focusing on getting good speed and it just dropped in the hole. You had a good first round today. We were chatting earlier. Didn't necessarily have a good first round last year. Week starting off a lot better. You said this time last year you found out you had COVID. Yeah, I uh, came here and was feeling okay. And then Tuesday started feeling really, really bad and ended up getting COVID and had to withdraw. So I was pretty upset. And I was like coming to Hawaii. I was super excited my rookie year and kind of had to go through that. So it's really nice to come back this year and start off on a better note for sure. I guess if there are places you have to be stuck with COVID, Hawaii is not a bad spot. Yeah, it's not bad, but yeah, not ideal. You know, I'd rather be playing in the tournament. <laughs> so now you're here a year later, that great first round. Um, you don't necessarily have the experience of playing in this wind. Um, you said it might have gotten to you on the front nine. How? What is the the challenge of Hawakalai playing into this, this, yeah. this difficult wind? I think, honestly, the front nine, I teed off so early, it wasn't as windy. So I almost thought, like, I need to capitalize. It's not as windy. And I was putting kind of extra pressure on that, which was kind of what got me a little bit. And it's just you're going to have to play the wind. And you might hit a shot that is good and ends up in a bad spot. You just got to stay patient and, and just kind of stick to your game plan. So what's the game plan now going to tomorrow? Going to hit a few balls on the range, you know, get that straightened out, but just kind of similar, staying patient, taking it hole by hole, and just kind of see what happens. Awesome. Thanks so much. Great round. Thank you. Good job.